Hey guys, so before you watch this weekend in my life vlog, I wanted to pop in and say a few things. I am really notorious for starting vlogs and then not finishing them or not posting them because I get in my head about it and I feel like they're not good and then I just don't post. But I'm trying to get over that because I get in my head about a lot of things and just because I don't like something doesn't necessarily mean it's not good. But this is one of those vlogs. I filmed it, I edited it, and edited it, and then I just thought, I don't like it, I don't wanna post it. But I'm trying to get over that. There are a couple of reasons why I started getting in my head. Both Matt and I were super low energy the entire weekend because this was this past weekend, which was right after Matt moved home. So we were spending days like, first of all, moving him back here from Texas and then unpacking here. And then just life stuff. We were both just exhausted the whole weekend and kind of low energy. And we also didn't do a whole lot. There weren't crazy, exciting, aesthetic things for me to film. It was just like a regular weekend in my life. But I'm posting it because I think it is important to show both sides of it. Like I obviously want to post videos that I'm super proud of that I feel like are full of interesting events and activities. And I like the aesthetic of it and everything. But sometimes you just have a more low-key weekend and that's what this was. So I'm gonna be honest, this is not my favorite vlog that I've ever posted, but I need to stop getting in my own way. I think, I'm. part of me is like, stop getting in your own way. And then part of me is like, don't post things you're not proud of. Don't post things just to post something. Like I don't wanna ever um, seem like I don't put effort in because I do, or that I don't take it seriously because I do. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and if you don't, I get it. <laughs> but I think it's just important for me to post it anyway because it might have been a more low-key weekend in my life, but it's realistic and it's it's real life. So with that being said, I do hope that you enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. I am cutting my hair. As I'm sure you can tell, my hair is much darker and much, 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 much shorter. And it's a very different haircut. I got my hair done yesterday and I wanted to go darker and I did want to get a trim and I did want to add like these little curtain bangs that I have. Obviously they're not styled, like my hair is textured right now, but I love the curtain bangs. I love the color that we landed on. This haircut is sending me on the verge of a nervous breakdown. My hair has not been this short in years. I feel like I don't recognize myself and it's also very blunt. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like very, very blunt. I usually have a V-shaped cut and it's just like straight across right now. And it's, I feel bald, I, it's so short. Like I know people are gonna be like, it's, you're being dramatic, it's not that short. Long haired girls understand what I mean. I'm like, mm. <sighs> So, if you've been here for a long time, you know that I pretty much exclusively cut my own hair for the first 23 years of my life. I've been cutting my own hair. It's honestly only the last year that I've let other people cut my hair. So I'm gonna do a couple of little things to just fix it. Can't do anything about the length but I can try to do something about how blunt this is because I just, I can't even think about it. I'm gonna start crying. I love, 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 love my hairstylist. I probably wasn't clear enough in what I was asking for, I think, because she is amazing. I mean, the stuff she does with my color is incredible. I also, I was so torn when I went in there. I was like, I don't know if I want to stay as light as I was, like do a more balayage for summer or go back to my natural color. Like this might look a lot darker, but it is not my natural color still. And I decided to just go in between and then go back to my like natural color in the fall. Um, and then I wanted to like trim off my dead ends and that just turned into something that I wasn't prepared for. So I'm going to add more layers in the front to hopefully help get rid of this very boxy look. I, <gasps> okay, feels like the moment where I should say, do not try this at home. <laughs> Hi. What's up? Why are you cutting your hair? You Matt stop? just walked in the second I opened the scissors. Stop. What are you doing? No, I'm fixing it. I'm Listen, doing some stuff to fix it. Mary, you don't need to Matt, cut Matt, I'm gonna... Ha I'm... You're having one of your stressy moments, don't you? Yeah, I'm having a stressy moment. You don't need to do this. I do need to do this. Mary, you don't. It looks lovely. It does. I need to do this, Matt. You don't need to be doing this. Can you think about it for one more day for me? No. Please. No. Mary, one more day. No, I can't. One more day. You don't even understand the vision. Okay, this is already looking much more recognizable to me. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. Oh gosh, it is still so straight across. Okay, so I'm not going to the gym. 
But I'm okay with this because I want to make fresh orange juice. I got this big bag of navel oranges and I just want to squeeze some juice. I've had such a rush of emotions. I just, I'm one of those people who puts a lot of identity into their hair, you know what I mean? And when I don't feel confident in my hair, I just, I, I don't feel confident, period. Like, how I feel about my hair kind of controls how I feel about all of me. All right, what did we try to think? What is the last time, when is the last time I talked to you guys? I think the last time I talked to you, I was headed over to Dallas for the last time to see the last two home games and then also like pick Matt up and bring him back. So Matt is back, as you heard, as you heard. I was there for 10 days. I started a vlog, like I was gonna vlog originally, but then we just weren't doing much. Like I spent 99% of the time just at his apartment working or helping him pack. And like, yeah, we went to the games and I did vlog. Just didn't seem like there was enough footage to actually make a vlog and the vlog didn't really have a narrative like i have started so many videos in the past where i'm just sort of aimlessly filming what i'm doing but for me at least in order for me to feel like a vlog is good there needs to be an arc like there needs to be a narrative and my dallas footage was just kind of like me filming whatever i was doing there didn't couldn't feel like there was a story so before i start filming a video i try to think like what is the point or like what am I sharing so I was actually vlogging for the last two days but same kind of thing I was looking back at the footage and there didn't seem to be like a narrative arc so that's why you're not seeing that footage you're seeing me starting over and now I have a clear idea like this is a weekend in my life I just need some kind of direction or else I feel like I just abandoned the vlogs but you guys did say you wanted a compilation of all the discarded vlog footage so I am gonna do that I think so this weekend, it's Saturday. Matt and I are going to go see Ed Sheeran tonight. That's gonna be really fun. Tomorrow, so it's been raining nonstop for the last like three or four days and it's gonna be raining a lot next week too. And tomorrow, Sunday is the only sunny and hot, like sunny and warm day. So I think tomorrow's gonna be a big pool, maybe pickleball. I'm hoping we can go pick a, play pickleball. I really want to, but it might just be like a pool and then grilling dinner on the roof day. I feel like I don't have that much to update you guys on. We are going to Florida next week though, and that's really exciting. It's gonna be sort of Matt and I's chance to get some quality time. And I just love the beach. I could lay on the beach and do nothing on the sand for like eight straight hours and feel like I've had a great day. All right, let's give it a little taste. This is delicious. It's a lot of work for a pretty small outcome, but it's really delicious. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give you a little haul. I know what this is. This is a clear bag I got for the concert tonight. Because they have a bag policy. It's just to take into the stadium with me tonight. We have a little hat. Oh my gosh, is this a little sweatshirt? A little makeup case? Ooh, fun little green corduroy makeup pouch. It looks like this is a sweatshirt. With every drop, what you say? brighter with every job. A little sweatshirt, a little hat, and then the product. Then this isn't PR, this is Urban Outfitters and I bought some stuff for summer. Actually, it's not super exciting. I bought a lot of underwear, but Matt does have a pair of shoes. Oh, I got a pair of shoes too, actually. I don't know what I'm wearing to the concert yet tonight. So maybe, let's see. I got this pair of Platform Class C Reeboks with blue on them, super cute. Or Club C, not Class C. I have a pair of just like regular Reebok Club C's, like the green ones with no platform, but I saw the platform. I thought it was so cute and I really like Reebok. And then, yeah, there's a lot of underwear in here. Urban Outfitters has one of those, like, I don't know what it is, five for 25 or, I don't know, something like that. So I got a bunch of pairs of underwear. Oh, you know what I got for you, Matt? This is actually, I don't know if you're gonna think it's funny. Deodorant? No. Oh. I don't know if you're gonna think it's funny or you're gonna think it's weird. Oh. But I saw it in the app. What the? It's a men's hygiene product called Happy Balls. Nuts Balls. Comfort Powder Spray. Comfort? <laughs> Comfort Powder Spray for Happy Nuts. I don't know, I thought it was funny. That's so funny. Bat wing? 
Yeah, okay, no, I looked at that and I had Blaine look at that too. We don't know what bat wing means. When it, when it refers to male testicles, what does bat winging mean? Off the top of my head, I'm thinking of some sort of stretchiness in the sun. <laughs> okay, we're done talking about that. Lovely pair of socks, cute little veggie stand t-shirt. I don't know. I thought it was super cute. And then this little sweater t-shirt combination, like this little cap sleeve sweater. And then the rest is either underwear or mat stuff. So that's that. I need to start getting ready for the concert. I washed my hair. It's drying. I think I'm gonna blow dry it and straighten it. I don't know if you can tell like this shape is different, like with the new layers. I do feel better because now I know at least it'll grow out in the way that I want it to, but it's just so short. I feel like I don't even recognize myself when I look in the mirror. This is how I felt last night too. Like, I just don't even recognize myself. So now I'm like, do I get extensions? Last night when I got back, I put it up in a half up, half down. Maybe that's just the hairstyle I'm gonna be wearing for the foreseeable future. Which one do I wear? That one? Or do I waiting to wear this one or this one? I like this one a lot. Me too. Genuinely, I'm running out of ideas. And we have to go meet our friends for dinner soon. We're getting like a late, um, late lunch, early dinner before we're all driving to the stadium together. Really running out of options. Okay, I just unplugged the straightener for confirmation. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like this, and I'm running out of time. I still have to do my lips, get dressed, and all of that, so I'm gonna check back in. Cheers. This was $18. Ready to get up. What did you think? Hot? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Sunday morning. The concert was so fun last night. I had such a great time. It was so long and the traffic getting to the venue and getting away from the venue was insane. The concert itself was such a good time. I feel like he's such a good artist to see live. And it was just fun to be there with Matt too. So great Saturday night. I have had multiple more breakdowns on my hair. I felt okay with it last night, but I just, don't know how to sleep in my hair yet to make it look decent when I wake up and I know obviously the bangs like I'll have to restyle the bangs probably every day I don't want to film I don't want to be on camera I hate the way I look I feel really bad about myself and yeah I've cried so many times and my hairstylist did nothing wrong like I want to clarify she didn't do anything wrong at all I just clearly didn't communicate what I wanted well enough and when she started to cut it shorter I just I guess I just didn't notice or I don't know. Um, but I'm not blaming her at all. Like she is so amazing and I love what she did with my color. And this might sound shallow to some of you, but when I don't feel confident in the way I look, of course I'm not gonna feel good in general. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my pool bag because today is the first sunny day in like five days and it's a Sunday. So going to the pool. A tan will hopefully help me feel better. Anyway, what's in my pool bag? Number one, this cup. Thank you. So this is the pool bag I'm using currently. I have a bunch that I like. I have this um, straw tote from Amazon that I love, but right now it's just this diptyque tote because it's huge. I got this from their Georgetown store opening. And this is stuff that I pretty much always keep in my bag and I always bring. So my book rotates, but this is the book currently. I just finished the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, which was a what is it, Grady Hendrix? Um, I really liked it, it was like a three out of 10. It was a good, like fast paced summer read and it was super entertaining, so, you know. This is The Fairy Bargain of Prospect Hill by Rowena Miller and I feel like it's probably gonna be the exact same thing. It's been, <laughs> it's been a long time since I read a book that I felt like changed my life. 
Um, I just haven't been able to find one of those recently, but I have read a lot of books that I enjoy. It's a super, super thin towel. And then for snacks, I have a chomp stick, a poppy, and an applesauce. And then I have a ton of sunscreens, but I'm only gonna mention these three by Hawaiian Tropic. These are like current faves. It's a face serum, this super moisturizing body sunscreen, and then I love to have a sunscreen spray, no matter what the brand is, because it's really easy to apply on your face. And then I just have a hair clip, and then I have this sport banana boat sunscreen, and this is the one that Matt uses. And then obviously sunglasses. These are the ones I'm liking right now. I go back and forth on what sunglasses I wear, but I like these ones right now because the lens is so big, and so when it's really bright outside, it really covers your whole eye, and your eye feels very protected. And I think that they are super cute. I love the size of them. So those are my sunglasses. My camera just died, so it's gonna be a phone vlog for a bit, but I've added this Aura Collagen Tea. 15 grams of protein peptides, low sugar. I don't know, seemed kind of fun. A peach, and then I love these little Aldi's little snack packs. I think I just got so dehydrated last night. Like last oh, night. last night? The whole yeah. weekend, bro. You don't be drinking enough water. You don't drink enough. You're right, I don't drink enough water. Yeah, I don't drink enough water, to be honest. It's, I don't know why, I've just been struggling with it lately. And I think last night at the concert, it was so much fun, but it was, I mean, it was hot and humid. It's June. And I definitely sweat a lot and I wasn't drinking water because I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom. We just got back from the pool. I think I'm just gonna take a shower because I have tanning oil on. And then maybe, I don't know. I also need to pre-schedule tomorrow's prologues episode. It's already edited. It just needs to, I just have to upload it to the um, hosting platform and then like write the title and the description and all that and then pre-schedule it. Last week's episode didn't do as well as most of them have been doing, but it's kind of hard to predict when something doesn't do as well because sometimes you just, sometimes people are just busy and so they're not engaging with the content. Sometimes people just aren't interested in the topic. Same thing with YouTube. Like I posted a packing video um, for Texas. That was the most recent video that I've posted and that video is kind of floppy. And again, I don't really know if it means I uploaded at the wrong time of day or on the wrong day of the week or if people just aren't interested in packing videos. It's kind of hard to tell. I always try to pay attention to what's doing well and what doesn't because I always want to find the balance between filming, recording, and posting content that I love making and I'm proud of, but that is also interesting to you guys. So I don't know. And also that's very normal. Like that happens periodically and you just have to adjust because sometimes people like just are outside more and aren't on their phone, so. Also this suit, if you were wondering, has like the matching bottoms, is from Kulani Kinis and it's Lexi Hidalgo's collaboration. It's so cute. And it also has a little sarong, but I'm not wearing that. I'm wearing this little Amazon skirt. So you want some downtime before we go out? I think so. It's also just the hottest part of the day. Mm. You know? Also, I the liquid IV is strawberry flavor, and then I squeeze a lemon into it, and it tastes so good. A little strawberry as you want? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm really bad at coming up with episode titles for the podcast, because you kind of want to make it like, not clickbaity, but like a little clickbaity, so people really want to click on like, yeah, just it. Yeah, definitely super. It needs to be clickbaity. I know, but I feel like I'm bad at doing that. And the same thing with my like um, YouTube titles. You yeah. want to really maximize your SEO and make it seem super, super interesting. But I also like, I'm just not gonna do clickbait. I think that's just weird and cringy to do something super clickbaity. But also like, they have to be really interesting titles that make people wanna. I think you should clickbait every second to do that. And just be honest about it and be like, hey, I'm doing this to you know reach new people. <laughs> okay, you guys heard it here first. YouTube videos title is gonna be dramatic. So like, for example, this episode is the one I did with Alex and it's the Q and A about Botox and filler and yep. just cosmetic procedures. How do I word that? Like you want it to be catchy, but also descriptive and informative. Like you want people to know what they're getting into when they click on the episode. I just wrote down like answering all of your questions about toxin filler with no. Aesthetically Alex, but that feels really boring. But it's like answering all of your questions because it's all listener questions. Debugging myths. But I feel like we're not, we didn't debunk anything. Well, your yeah, questions are probably ones that weren't like, like, oh, is this true? Yeah, there were people answering, like asking that type of question. Or like spilling the tea about toxin filler. Yeah. 
People love, I feel like spilling the tea is always a good. I think that's a good one. I think that's more feminine than debunking. Debunking. Yeah. That sounds so dramatic. That's what I would put it on now. Spilling the tea about toxin filler. We are headed to Trader Joe's to get some food for grilling. I want to get fruit to grill. Matt has never heard of grilled fruit. He thinks it's gonna taste weird. I think it's gonna be amazing. And we just watched a ton of videos about the North Coast 500 and we took really detailed notes on the itineraries and tips and stuff. We are so excited. Yeah. What do you think you're most excited about? Oh. Just the scenery, honestly. Yeah, some of the bays, maybe. Some of the walks. Some yeah. Of the Actually, that's just all of it at that point. So. <laughs> all the scenery. Just all of it, really. So we're prepping our grilling stuff. I had a stroke of genius when I was in Trader Joe's. I have cantaloupe, halloumi, and prosciutto, and I'm gonna make my skewers. So I'm gonna cut the halloumi up into little bite-sized-ish pieces, and then do cantaloupe, halloumi, cantaloupe, prosciutto in a repeating pattern. I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be so good. So I don't know if I properly explained this. I don't think I did. Matt and I are going to Europe in August. We're spending a week in the south of France visiting his family. And then we're going to his hometown of home city of Aberdeen. And we're visiting more family like grandmas, grandpas, everything like that. We're gonna be spending some time in Edinburgh for the Fringe Festival and to see some friends of his. And then we're also just gonna do some sightseeing and neighborhood scouting in Edinburgh. And then we're going back to Aberdeen and then we're doing the North Coast 500, which is a 500 mile driving tour along the very northernmost coast of Scotland. And then we're hoping to have just like a romantic weekend in the Highlands because we're gonna be camping on the North Coast 500. And then we're hoping to just do like a romantic weekend back to Aberdeen to say goodbye to friends and family and then home. And the whole thing is gonna be about a month. And it's Matt's first time back in Scotland since pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. So it's a really big deal, honestly. And it's your first time seeing like your grandparents and stuff too, right? Yeah. So it's pre yeah, pre-COVID, so a big deal. A lot of fun. And it's my first time there, period, because Matt and I started dating before COVID hit and we became really serious sort of during COVID so there was just no opportunity for us to visit together. Big deal. We're really excited. We've been planning this. We wanted to go last year. We weren't able to. Mr. Grill Master at work. My role whenever there's grilling happening is to just sit on the sidelines and eat fruit. It's going to be so cool to have a grill of our own one day in a backyard. Yeah. Do this like every Sunday. Guys, I was gonna update you. Matt just woke up as soon as I started talking. I was saying to them, I was gonna update you guys when we came back down from grilling, mm. but we sat down on the couch to eat food and we put the TV on and we both fell asleep. And it is now like almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> I think just being out in the hot sun all day really makes you sleepy or makes me sleepy. Mm. Yeah. Well, I am going to end the vlog here then because it's a weekend in my life. Um, what a roller coaster it's been. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you very, very soon.